Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. I am a second year doctor of occupational therapy student, but I do some things on the side. And now that it's winter break and I'm not in school, I figured I would take you in a day in my life as the girlfriend to a small business owner who also works for said small business. I gotta show you that angle of how I spend my days. So, we're gonna have some fun today. Um, I think we're gonna shoot some content, work on a little bit of content, make some of the product to ship out. We wear a lot of hats, so come on along. Before we get the day started, however, and get to work, step one is breakfast. Bagel in the toaster oven, and then I like to eat a lot of fruit with my breakfast, so I sliced up an orange and have some raspberries and then some turkey. Okay, so there is some background noise because we have a 3D printer running um, and can't turn that off. But I wanted to run you through the plan real quick today, which is content mostly. Today is a content day. Mostly shooting content, not creating, but we'll see if I feel inspired later. Um, so we, I, need to shoot um, photos for a wholesale brochure and then photos views for like Instagram photos and um, on the website whatever we just need photos of the product so I'm shooting content today we don't really know what we're doing and we have learned a lot through just experience when it comes to how do you market a product how do you show what it is and we continue to learn through experience. I mean, everything, like, Jake handles a lot of the, like, actual running of the business, and I do most of the content and whatnot. He's learned everything about, like, how to build a website and how you make a product. And I have learned, and he has also learned, how you make pretty pictures that look like you paid a lot of money for them when you actually are in your basement with a tripod. So... <laughs> The bane of my existence will forever and always be this ring light because it's a USB plug-in. And for some reason, whenever I need to use it, I can never actually find anything to plug it in with. For example, I have a very helpful block right here, but guess what? USB-C. So I'm gonna go on a hunt. Haha! <laughs> my savior! Thank you. Is this charged? Okay. We have power banks and they are so useful because then you can just move the ring light all around and it doesn't have to be tagged in. This is how simple it is. We have tiles, um, a bunch of different like colors and backgrounds and whatnot. And we, <laughs> we set up, we have an Amazon ring light camera and the tiles on a desk in the basement. I normally turn off all the overhead lights for bus lighting. And this is how we shoot most of our product photography. This is how we do it. So the business that we run is called Keel and we make a watch accessory that goes on a watch band that's completely customizable so that someone can put like a phrase that's meaningful to them or a goal that they're working on um, or just something that makes them smile so that every time they look at their watch they can see that thing this is essentially what it looks like. And then I don't think this is the right size for this watch, but to give you an idea, it just slips on to the watch just like that. And if we grab one that's actually the right size, the thing that's like unique about Kiel, they actually fit the watches. Um, so it doesn't like slip around and it's always right then. Um, doo -doo -doo. So it doesn't slip around, it always just rests right up next to the watch face. And then people can put like a phrase or text on it and we're able to customize that. So super simple product, but also super meaningful in the sense that it makes people smile and it allows them a way to kind of express themselves with that thing that you're always wearing. Like most people have an, some form of smartwatch. This is a Koros, but we, I mean, they fit Apple watches, whatever. The challenge with it is that it is not a product that exists in the form that we have it. Like I said, there are similar ones on the market, um, but they do not fit, they're a one size fits all. Ours have different sizes for the watch band. And even those are very small. This is a relatively new product on the market um, and not a huge one. So we are just a two man team and it's our job to show what it is, 
why you need it, how to use it, and also why you need more than one of them. <laughs> so that's kind of the behind the scenes of like, what our mission is here is to show all of those things. Well, I was inside shooting content. Jake's been out here working on uh, the production of the badges themselves, so. Busy Sunday. I am a grad student. I'm an occupational therapy student first. Entrepreneurship is not necessarily my route. Like I do want to work in healthcare. That's where my passion and like excitement lies. That's what I want to do when I grow up. And so my priority is school, but I also am super excited and passionate about this business and YouTube. And I also work 20 hours a week and I juggle all of it somehow. I'm not very good at juggling it. I make a lot of mistakes. I've had to learn productivity in order to handle all of this, which I think is kind of where um, my route on YouTube and sharing my tips for this falls into place from is because I have so much experience with really juggling so many different aspects of life and so many different things going on, all of which are very important, um, either because they're important to me, they're important to my future, or they're important to someone I love. Um, so it's been really hard to learn, and I hope that through my platform on YouTube, which albeit is small right now, but hopefully growing, um, I can share some help and also maybe like break this idea that you have to be one thing. I can be an occupational therapist and an entrepreneur and those things don't have to like butt heads or take away from each other. That's my spiel, my chit chat. I've been staring at a camera screen or my computer screen all day at this point. And so I'm gonna get outside and go for a walk and phone a friend. Hello. Hello. Are you getting a time lapse or something? Is that still recording? I think so. <laughs> I was in the zone. So heavily. I was able to use some of the photos for what we needed them for. And we have some orders to fulfill. This is the newest fashion statement. As you are well aware, Jake was making badges earlier. He does that so that they are ready to go when we have orders. We can just pop them on the laser and fulfill those orders. So we have like a bulk bunch of badges that we just pull from whatever size is needed. So these are the orders that we're fulfilling today. Do, do, do. And we are lasering them up. It looks dope. And then when it's all said and done, you get a badge. Just like that, badges are going out. So while he was doing the badges, I was making a reel, and here you have it. Let's make it full screen. A woman of many talents, I guess. That's my first ever stop motion, so it was fun. And I also learned, I learned a thing or two. Why is it so pink? White balance. Ah. Okay, well, I am going to the orders that need to go out off tomorrow morning. And I think I'm just gonna wind down tonight and relax. So thank you so much for coming along in my day in life as a grad student turned small business owner, runner, whatever. And I will see you next week with some more grad school content. So don't forget to subscribe.